Okay, let's start this guy. I wanted everybody to come here. So I really don't have any topics today, guys. I just want to say Happy New Year, guys. Um, and let's see what we want. I haven't been a while since I brought anybody over, but uh, I'm still a little, little sick, guys, so bear with me. Um, wow, look at this. NLSP, zombie time. Zombie, guys. NLSP is a zombie. Look at that. Look at that thing shoot up, guys. Uh, do you believe in zombies? Happy New Year, guys. All right, so a couple things, guys, before we start. Um, we have a new webinar. So this is for the guys that are not in MIC. Alex spent, oh, my God, months recreating a free webinar for you guys. I'll teach you, it'll teach you a lot of things about day trading. So if you're new to trading, guys, if you're not in MIC, go to myinvestingclub.com. That's our website, slash webinar. Okay? myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. So these are the guys that are not in MIC. Because the guys that are in MIC has a full-blown uh, curriculum. These are the guys that uh, still, um, if, you, if you're on the fence about MIC or if you are new to trading and you're not ready yet to join, things like that, go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. And I think at the end, I think uh, there, there's going to be a discount for you guys. So don't tell anybody I told you that. So if you watch it through, we actually uh, reward you with a discount. Um, you do the .co, but the, it'll redirect you to the webinar, myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. So we got rid of the monthly, as you see, I think it's much better. What, what do you guys think? So we got rid of the monthly, as we uh, we talked about. So the guys at MIC watching it, um, the YouTube live now. What do you guys think, guys? Is the chat more clean? I think we got rid of a lot of the the, the wear Lambo kind of guys. So that's the ongoing joke. So the guys come in for monthly, and they they are just like, "Where's Lambo? I should be rich by now," you know, things like that. So that's not how trading works, guys. Um, trading doesn't work by you joining and all of a sudden copying trades, alerts, and thinking you'd be rich. And that's how you get scammed. Okay, you get scammed is because of these guys try to make trading to be so simple that you can just follow them. But to be honest, trading is not simple. It's not easy. It's simple. It's not easy. Okay, if it was easy, these guys would not be pumping their positions. They're pumping their positions to you and you're buying front loaded stocks, meaning I'll t very quickly, I hate talking about this stuff, but everyone needs to understand how the pumping game works. The pumping game works because one guy buys a bunch of stock and then they alert it to their members and then they alert it to the public and that's how the stocks go up. That's a pure pump and dump, guys. I mean, we don't do any of that stuff within MIC. We actually teach you to become a self-sufficient day trader. And that's what sucks about it. It sucks that teaching someone is not as lucrative, doesn't pay big bucks. As an educator, as a teacher, you may have, you don't make anything. You know that, right? A guys that are in... <laughs> the education business do it because they, they want, they love to share and help members. They love to educate others. I, we are passing the ladder back down, guys. You know, um, if I wanted to make money, I, I make a pure pump room. And good Lord, man, we would make so much more money. You imagine these guys that cannot trade were shit. They suck at trading. And yet they're... They're pumping to their members all this stuff and they're making money because you know what, man? They're buying low flow stocks and you as the sheep are pushing it up. You don't think I'm a better trader than all of them? You don't think Alex is a better trader than all of them? Even our mods are better traders than all of them. Even our members that just start are better traders than all of them. So of course, man, if I knew what I was doing, I do know what I'm doing. But if I, I wanted to pump, which I don't not, you guys be all in trouble. All those guys go out of business, you guys. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. You want to be self-sufficient for the new year. The best investment is education in yourself. Okay, guys. So with that in mind, we know we talked about the webinar. Uh, we talked about getting rid of the monthly. <laughs> Alex even talked about getting rid of yearly down the road. And just, you know, uh, we have a lot of lifetime members now. And so when the maximum reaches on the lifetime, we may turn off the annual, guys. So just keep that in mind. Um because I'm getting pretty damn tired of doing this. We've been doing this for three, four years now. I told Alex I'll only do it for three, four years. So we're at the end of this. But, you know, uh, 
you know, we got, so we got tired of helping the people that are just wanting to get rich quick. The guys are causing trouble. The guys are messing with the room and, and they want, people actually scream at me because we do not alert. And it, it's just ridiculous, guys. Let me read some of these comments. So when we have enough capacity for a lifetime, we're getting rid of the, of the annual guys because we, we're kind of tired. We just want to help the core group of guys that are very dedicated. So as you see, we put out a watch list and I, I've been posting testimonials on watch lists. If you just study the watch list, I'm not telling you to copy it, but if you just study it and use it as a guy, you're going to make money. Knock on wood. Uh, this is not an alert. If you want alerting, the watch list is your alert. I mean... I don't know how else we can do it. The, the, the stocks that are in our watch list are the ones that we're trading, guys. There's, there's nothing to it. We, 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 we give you our, our ideas, our detailed plans, our entries onto these. And, you know, the entries may be for short selling, but if you can do the inverse, you'll know how to do it for the long side. So the stocks that we're telling everybody to avoid, I'm telling people to avoid NLST and Hoth in the morning, so it ran huge. So those are the stocks that we're telling people to avoid, okay? And I'm not shorting those stocks. And then, you know, and then if I'm not shorting, it means like, dude, it must be strong. And so look at NLST, NLST is on all the way up. So I'm gonna tell everybody not to short it. So the people are saying, oh, then, you know, we are just a short buys. No, last night I went long on GNPX, you saw that. I sold most of my position after hours, it went over a. It went up a dollar from three dollars and thirty cents or something to four dollars and twenty seven cents. I sold. So you saw that on Twitter. So we go long when you need to go long. I go short when I need to go short. Okay, we're not it's a pure short selling room. Um, I'm, we're just here to try to help people to learn the process, guys. And this is what's really frustrating. It was really frustrating. You know, these guys are posting these P and Ls, and then people think it's easy, so they join. I mean, who's here? helping you guys every day i mean we we're here pretty much every day all day all night and my phone is glued next to me i'm sick alex on vacation yesterday and he came back and he helped everybody um so 2022 is gonna be no nonsense i alex told me you know I, we're, we are sick of being too nice we're sick of ha i'm i've been de answering dm for a bunch of assholes just just there's just a bunch of assholes. They, they, they may be envious, jealous. They're, they're losing money. What the else? What, whatever the case may be, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so they, they're just hateful individuals. So, you know, I, I, I'm a really nice guy, guys. I, I try to give people second chances. I reply to most of the, the messages that I get. You know, I get a lot of messages. And I reply. Alex doesn't reply. He, he, he's sick of it, and I, I don't blame him. Um, I'm strangers, so what I'm gonna do is, guys, is so I'm, I'm not gonna just reply anymore. If, if you're if you're a dick, if you're an asshole, I'm just gonna block you. I have blocked maybe ten people this year already. It's only been a few days within a year, and I already blocked over ten people. So uh, let me take a look at them. And I'm sick, guys. I, I, I'm still up here, guys, trying to help everybody. Um, how about we go through the trades? How about we go on some trades? I mean, dude, this is, uh, I'm gonna give you some free lessons. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this, guys. Let's go over the first one. ISPC. I've actually reduced my bullet size to half size because these stocks have been running so crazy. So these are very small bullets, guys. And then when it peaks out, I added more and it came back down. This was a pump. This was a chat room pump. And so when the guy left, it tanked. And so once the top was set, I, I placed, so this becomes a resistance. And so that's exactly what happened. So it went back, back up and I shorted it, same routine. And then now once it's broken, I'm waiting for the pop to get back in and cover. It's as simple as that, guys. It's not easy. It's not easy because if you size up too quickly here, you would get blown out and you got stuck with cover the top. So I had a very good average, even though it looks kind of ugly. These are very small size nibbles because I have FOMO. I'm learning this year to just reduce these sizes, just maybe just 300 shares, you know? And then when it gets up higher, then I'll add more size, 500, 1,000 shares, whatever it may be, each bullet, right? But when I start, it's a small 300 share nibble, 
on this ISPC. Okay, that's and that's what kept me in the game. Three hundred shares, three hundred shares. So six hundred shares ain't gonna. It's not gonna kill me if it goes up that much, right, guys? So this thing just went up all the way up, and of course, it cratered down once once the chat room guy got out, you know. And so I left a lot of money on the table, obviously. But you know what? The key is to make the meat of the move. Okay. So that was how I traded ISPC. IMMX. This is the one that made me most of my money today. Uh, let me see. Let me take. This is the one that made me most of my money today. Let's take a look at this. So I waited. So I actually went long down here. And I got. I woke up early. I was sitting in bed, and I. I don't know what the hell happened. I thought I was short this overnight. I. I was still very groggy. This was at 7 a.m. market time, which is 4 a.m. my time. I actually went long at the 6:50 line, and I didn't know I was long. And so I sold some here, shorted, went back down. You know, now the top is set. So I slept in on purpose to make sure I don't fuck up the top, that I don't get get any any FOMO. I went long here. I don't know why I went long here. I I woke up. I thought I was short the stuff from the night before. I was really groggy, guys. So I got lucky on this long, but then when the top was set, I started shorting. So notice the same line short, same concept as ISBC, and I shorted and I came up covered all the way down. Now I'm just waiting for this thing to pop back up, guys. I mean, it's just standard. It's not easy, guys. This not no no trading is easy, you know. People say it's easy peasy bullshit, and now they're. I see these guys posting easy, easy peasy. They're the best. They have a huge win rate, and now they're complaining left and right about manipulation. I'm like, they're crying. Just shut the fuck up, man. I'm so sick of these guys. I, I'm just ready to block everybody. And so, if anybody cries on 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 social media, they're making money, guys. They they're a piece of shit. I mean, dude, they're, they're, it's a humble brag, whatever it may be. I, I the worst thing I hate is if you're gonna brag, fucking brag. I hate fucking humble braggers. Oh, the hand made some money. <laughs> um, man, I made some money here. Hold on. <sighs> I just fucked around during. <laughs> I'll show you the rest. I cover some. <laughs> I was gonna some color so I'm just show you the chart. So uh, NL NSLP. So I'll show you what I did on this. Okay. I waited for NLP to go up. So I started shorting the outer line. I only did two small blows because I was on IG Live. And I just covered down to 2.8. I still got a little left. Let me see how much got left. Uh, I got a little left. Okay, I'm going to cover that. Uh, uh, one second here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to cover that VWAP down here somewhere. The last. So, I mean... All I'm doing, guys, the key is this. Do not short it on the front side. Wait for it to top first. Crater down and then short the bounce at the outer line. This is day one, so I'm being very careful. So my, my New Year's resolution is don't short the front side on the day one stock anymore, especially a low floater. Wait for it to top out. If I miss, I miss. The moment it craters down, death lines, I mean not death lines, death candles down and bounces back up, that's when I can short. Okay, that's the safest short because if it blew past this, which it did, notice I did not add more. If it blew and it went to 250, I would have covered it because it broke the previous high. Okay, all it broke the day's high. Once it breaks the day high, you need to cover. I waited to see how it reacted and when it went down, I covered, okay? Because a lot of times people put a short, I mean a, a stop. If you using stops, make sure you're not stopping at where the herd level is. This is the herd level. People are stopping out. And that's how they're getting this rejection. So notice I'm waiting. I don't. If I stop out, I need to stop out a little higher on that to make sure I don't do the herd level. And this is why you need to short it at a certain line and be small enough size to to 
do not panic when it breaks. So notice it, it, it went to 240 and it dropped all the way to 209, 208. So not only do we teach you, the thing is man, risk management is the key. Part of the risk management is know where to take the loss, where to put your stop losses. And if you're part of the herd and you're learning from these dumbass rooms, you're gonna lose money, guys. Um, you need to be, we make videos on how to take, how to properly take a stop loss. So notice what I did. I did not just put a stop right where the high day is, because that's the obvious area. You know, you, know, you gotta be able to take one spike up and live to tell, to live, right? And so I size up where if it spikes up and actually I'm losing money, that it's not gonna hurt me because I'm manageable size, small size. And if it confirms, so if it spikes up like that and it drops straight down, I know I'm in the money. But if it spikes up and it drops, but it's still above the, the high, that's when I stop out. Okay, so let me show you once again. This is a freebie lesson for you guys, and this is gonna be huge. I'm sick, but so this is the high of day, guys. NLSP. So notice I shorted right near the high to 230 line. And it went up to 240. I did not put a stop at, at the 237 high of day. Because it would take in all the stops at 240 out and all that. And that's what happened, and then it cratered down. Okay. If it had spiked to 240, but it came back to 230 and hovered here, I would have covered. I would have covered. Because it, the, the old resistance becomes a new support, then you're dead. You need to get the hell out. So but the thing is, it, 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 this is a short, uh, this, this was a, they, they hunted for the stop loss and it, it spiked down as I thought it would. And that's why you do not put a stop at the high days like this. You need to be put a little bit higher Go smaller size, don't go full size in guys. This is all front side, okay? You can go full size on the back side, not the front side. So this is still over VWAP, so therefore it's considered front side. Do not go on, it's still very small, only two small bullets, right? Versus like this, I am X. Now, I get, this is still front side, so I didn't do that much, but the top, notice I topped it, but now if it goes back here, I could go full size because it's so broken. Same thing with ISPC, guys. ISPC, I wanted this to go to VWAP where my size was. It did not. It just got one thing and it went back down here and I'm pissed off. And now I'm, it's not 840. I need to start shorting here at 888 again. So using, I'm just using my lines. And if I miss it, I miss it. And I wait for the tomorrow and I learn for the next move tomorrow, guys. Trading, once again, is not, is not easy, but it's simple if you... If you stick to the rules, if you recognize that we're front side, short side, uh, back side and front side, as a short seller, guys, I'm waiting for the back side. If I'm doing something on the front side, the top better be set first, guys. I'm kind of losing my voice, so I'm going to end this early, guys. But I wanted to show you guys that. Uh, P PSTV, I'm trying, uh, I'm trying to hold things longer now. So I'm still in PSTV uh, at a uh, 203 average. So I, I was shorting up here, I added here. Okay, and I'm, I'm looking at these and I, I thought it was an all day fitter, which is right. Uh, I, I wanna add more on a pop. So if it, if it goes to 162 area, I'm gonna short some more. So I'm, I'm still holding it all the way from $2. Uh, $2. It's still like one, it's at 150 now, so I'm like 50 cents on it. Um, all I'm doing is just following the MIC process, guys. Uh, I don't know. Who, these bots are all over again. Oh, my God. Okay, so if, it, if anybody's uh, typing in Arabic, it's going to be a bot. I'm going to... Anybody spamming, I'm just going to start blocking people, guys. So I'm sorry. I don't know who's the spammer, who's not. Uh, stop posting your flags. If you're posting your flag, that means you're a bot. Um, see what's going on, guys. So let me... Let me... Um, hey, bot, bots... <laughs> We're doing something right, right, guys? If 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 the bots are following us, if the bots are following us, that means we're doing something right. Don't fall for another thing. I only have one. We only have one Instagram account, guys. Don't don't be texting me, asking me. 
if this is me. No, it's not me. Why would it be me? You're talking to me. You're asking me if another guy's the me. It's not me. Don't, don't, I don't need to hear that you... I have a... Man, literally, I have, I have like 20 a day from people saying, is this you? Is this you? I, I, one day I'm just going to say it's me sending their money, right? Um... Any questions, guys, before I go? We have a meetup uh, January 29th. Uh, uh, it's, uh, Alex is going to tweet it out. I'm going to tweet it out. Uh, it's going to be in Southern California, guys, so keep that in mind if you want to make accommodations. It's going to be in Southern California, Culver City, on the 29th, guys. Oh, my God. I don't know who these bots are, guys. Uh, they keep posting. I'm, I'm going to... I want to start removing anybody that posts their flag. I don't care where you post. Um, if I don't understand the language you post, I am I am going to remove you. <laughs> this is insane. It's kind of I don't know who's real or not anymore. If you guys say just random fuck, I'm going to remove you too. Only I can curse here, guys. <laughs> Any questions, guys? The bots are having a field day. It's been a while since I went to IG Live. So, um, any questions? Um, hey, Tosh, you're there. Can you post your number, Tosh? Uh, I like. I, I always like to give a discount, guys, uh, to anybody that watches this this feed right now. So just text Tosh. We don't have any sales currently, but if you're nice to Tosh, maybe he will help you out. So text Tosh, you guys. Uh, if you want Tosh, the number is on our website. All right, guys. We'll see you back in the room. Uh, too many bots. I'm going to start. <laughs> I don't know who's real or not anymore, but it's cool. Uh, nothing to talk about much. Uh, uh, any questions? Don't ask too bad questions, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm not in the mood. To, this this year, we're just, just you know, you can be funny, but, you know, there's just questions that are not funny, guys. So, all right, guys, I'll see you guys. Yeah, my voice still, I'm not feeling good, but um, any questions? I We showed, let me see, let me see if I got another nice short here. I got some pretty nice shorts here. <laughs> I thought this was a nice short. I'll have a ton of money. INDP. <laughs> I top ticked it. Uh, $7. I made 50 cents on it. And it kept on going down. You know, that that's, you know, you can't be mad about that. Don't, uh, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Uh, what what you need to do, though, guys, is is just to be better next time. Next time, hold on a piece longer. Uh, that's why I held on to PSTV a little longer. I am trying this year to go outside my comfort zone by holding a little, little longer certain stocks, guys. So, you know, even this old dog can try to learn new tricks, guys. So, uh, good luck, guys. We'll see you back in MIC. Text Tosh for a discount. His number is... His number is on the website, guys. If you don't know what our website is, you should not be trading stocks. See ya.